What's well, Uncommon Fossil? And today, I'm going to be finishing, or at least I believe I'm going to be finishing the video series on the live economy. Going to be taking a look at the ladder, the ranked, and the casual ladder, which is do the gameplay, which of course is an important part of the game. Um, if you've been playing the game, you, you, you figure this out at least some of the extent. There is a little bit in terms of how to navigate the economy most effectively in it, and I'll talk to you about that. My rank is, uh, go back, is 640. Um, I always target to get to at least a rank of 600 every time before the ladder resets here. At the time of recording, the ladder re will reset in four in plus days. So, um, and I'll talk through the reason why. As you go up these levels, you will get rewards in the rank ladder. So that, that's an advantage to the rank over the casual, besides getting the rank to potentially show off how well you are. Um, you do get certain rewards as you go up it. So just for quickly, which I don't know if you have to just play a game or something, you need zero points for it. You get a coin, you get 500 credits, and credits help you craft cards, so that's nice. You move up once you get to 200 uh, points, I guess it is, whatever your ranking is of, of 200, then you get these rewards. You get some slippers, some some uh, cosmetics, five, 500 coins, and 200 crystals, so it gets a little better as, as the leagues go up. Pokey League, then up to Great League, which is where I always target getting Great League. And here you get some cosmetics, some pants, 500 credits, 200 crystals again, but it's pr I find it pre pretty easy to get here. You can see my ladder best. It tells me was 700 since the, bat the ladder last reset. Um, it's easy to get to 600. Um, I play a variety of decks. I've been working on a, uh, a Ditto Box deck lately, and that has my win rate hasn't been high for that as I'm trying to develop a new deck. So definitely hard to make progress for um, me beyond 600, but... Um, I think getting to 600, grabbing these rewards of the 500 crystals, credits, 200 crystals, is well worth it. And just so you know, as things happen, uh, when you're in the quick league, you get, I believe, 20 points per win. To, um, uh, what am I saying? Yeah, every every win gets you 20 points towards your rank. Every loss loses, you lose zero. So, so you can't go backwards in quick league. You only move forward. So... Uh, even if you're a new player not doing well, you should be able to get up to Pokey League. And uh, even in Pokey League, you you win, tw you get 20 points for a win, and you lose 20 points. I mean, you lose 10 points for a loss, so plus 20 for a win, minus 10 for a, a loss. So even with playing a, a variety of decks and some sub-optimal decks, I'm able to win, you know, even if you come close to winning as much as losing, or, or even just a little worse than that, you will make progress and get up to Great League. Once you get to Great League, you, it's 20 points for a win, 20 points for a loss, and I believe that's how it stays for the rest of the way. So at that point, unless you want to focus in on top meta decks on a consistent basis, I find it hard to make progress beyond 600, but I'll, I always target 600 every ladder. And, and it usually, you know, when a couple of days of play, I do get there. Now, if you keep going, besides flexing... Uh, how your skill as a player, which I, you, you do get more rewards. I have gotten up to Ultra League at one point. It's 1,320, so it's all, it takes a lot more work to get there. It's not easy to do, I will say, but you do get more rewards. They do increase. You get a deck box, some jackets, and then now we get 750 credits and 400 crystals, so more rewards for the Ultra League, which makes sense, right? You've done higher. And then beyond Ultra League, we have Master League, you get, again, some cosmetics, some hats, and 750 and 400 uh, for credits and crystals. And if you can go all the way up to Arceus League, which, um, you know, I, I can't imagine a lot of people get there since you're winning as many points as you're losing, and everyone else is strong players playing strong decks focused on moving up as you get closer and closer to the top. Uh, being better than 500 gets tough, but obviously... I assume if you're a skilled enough player play, sticking to top decks, you can get there. And here, the rewards are even greater. As we'd expect, we get a, the, the card sleeve, which I think matches the deck box. One of the crates, 1,250 credits and 600 crystals. So we do get those rewards, which is nice. And then the other ass piece of the ladder is we get these ladder end rewards. We get two packs, some coins some crystals, some credits, and a card, in which case is a spied ops with an alternate art, which is nice to get. 
always some other cards. You know, and, and what it tells they tell you what you have to do to get this. You have to play at least five standard format matches to receive these rewards by the at the end of the ladder. So just it, so that means you have to play five games in the rank ladder to get the rewards. So even if you mostly want to play casual, you can, and I'll talk about casual next. Make sure you get at least those five those five games. Might as well get these packs. You may have to win the games, right? You could play the game and concede immediately. I think you get five games. You will get these rewards. And like I said, I target getting to 600 points. I think that's a very doable goal. If you're a new player and just don't have, you know, you find it too difficult to do and you're not winning a lot, then play casual. But eventually you should get to the point that getting 600 points even is a doable goal. Um, and then the other option is the casual ladder. So I'll just talk about that for a minute. Um, you don't have the rewards, the ranking. That part doesn't exist. The rewards for that don't exist. But it, it does give us two different play modes. We have standard, which are the same decks that you can play with in the ranked, because the only standard is in ranked. Um, and you'll see a, a, a mix of decks, some newer players, some starter decks, people trying to test out decks. Um, you could do, if you want to play a variety of decks but still improve your ranking, you could play ranked when you're playing decks that you have are good decks and you've sorted them out. And you could play the casual ladder when you're testing decks and playing lower tier decks. You could do that. And, and I've, I've done that a bit at one time. And I might go back to that as a strategy. That's a way to play a variety of decks and still make progress in the ranked ladder. Um, the thing is, at times, it's very hit or miss who your opponents are going to be. Sometimes you'll get good opponents playing good decks. Sometimes you're going to get brand new players that just don't know what they're doing. And that's okay, some, but you don't want, to me, it's not fun to get a lot of that. And then you're going to get some off-the-wall decks, which are fun up to a point. I, I, I do enjoy seeing different types of decks, but seeing a, a lot of bad decks and a lot of bad play can get, you know, isn't what I like. So it just, it just depends on the day who what you see in casual. I, I haven't done it in a while. I actually probably need to go back and see how that's going. And the other is the expanded beta. Um, w w a couple things. This is the only way to expand it. It's expanded from Sun and Moon on. It's Sun and Moon cards, Sword and Shield, and Scarlet and Violet. They're, the earlier expanded cards are not available in live expanded beta yet. Uh, you're probably aware Pokemon's having trouble getting live working well. So I think they're, they're limiting the card pool for expanded just so that there's less issues, less things they have to figure out. And I look, uh, first off, I think that's a good choice. They need to get standard sorted out first. So that's where the efforts need to go. So expanded needs to needs to get developed, but after standard. And I actually do like this format. I'm hoping they keep this format. I, I would like to see them give a full expanded format all the way back to, uh, what is it, black and white, I think it is. I could be wrong, but you, you get two full uh, expand, two full blocks or wh whatever the right ter terminology is before Sun and Moon with that. Uh, but I like the, this truncated expanded format as well, expanded format, and I hope they keep both of them. And it, it is fun to do. It, it expanded it's a real mix of what you'll see. I did the latest deck was with Scoop Up Net being banned, and I wanted to test out Donk with uh, Iron Valiant and Scoop Up Net. And honestly, there were a number of other players doing the same thing, which made it a little less fun. But look, Expanded is fun and enjoyable as well, as long as... And I think it's Expanded has grown in terms of the, the user base in it now. So at one point, it was you were seeing standard decks and people that were often barely clueless in Expanded, I will say, in the early days. But now you see players with trying out different expanded decks for this format, uh, and, it, and it can be fun. So I think I have to start doing some more expanded uh, gameplay and some more expanded videos. If you want to see more expanded videos, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you have any other questions on the economy, let me know. I think I've covered everything, right, with the Battle Pass, Ranked, Casual, I think I've covered all the different aspects that you need to know. If you have other questions and the other topics that I haven't covered that you'd like to see, please let me know, and I'll either answer it in the comments or you know make a video about it if it's something relevant to enough people. Anyway, hope hopefully this this video and this series has been helpful. 
Um, look, I do believe the economy of life is pretty friendly to budget players like myself, but we still you still want to be smart in your choices. But having access, to, easy access to the cards means we can focus on building the decks we want and playing Pokemon. So hopefully we can all have some fun playing some Pokemon. Take care.